It's supposed to be really tight, but it's a mission, isn't it? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, today is another day where I go to the hospital. Very normal these days. Going to the hospital, like, I didn't go last week because of the bank holiday and stuff, but this week I've got an appointment with my breast surgeon and the breast care team. And I think what's going to happen is this whole time I've had, like, I think they're called steri strips. I've had strips and bandages and stuff all underneath my surgical bra so I've never seen my scars never seen them um, and it all looks quite good because I can't see them because it, they're covered in like a white thing so there's no there's no scar um, but today I think very shortly they're gonna take them off and I'm quite scared um, obviously like they're there right now and they'll still be there and it's no different but I'll be able to see them like properly and I find like I don't know what they're gonna look like but I have this feeling because I've seen pictures of other people's that they're gonna look maybe a bit gory and a bit like not that great so yeah I'm a bit nervous today but what I thought I'd do because I said I would in the last video is that or whenever the last video my last double mastectomy video went up um, what I thought I would do is I would um, show you or get Mark to show you what um, my what my boobs look like right now pre going for this appointment um, and then I guess if I'm okay with it and we feel it's right I'll show you what they look like afterwards if that is what happens today I don't know I'm not 100% sure um, so we're gonna head off very soon so I'll quickly show you before just looking out the window awful weather today awful weather very depressing um, also I know I shouldn't apologize about my appearance but I never have my hair up so tightly, but I haven't had it washed in a week now. The last time I had it washed was my hairdresser washed it a week ago. Time's gone so quickly that I haven't had it washed. And I'm a bit of a grease ball, if I'm honest. A proper, proper grease ball is so greasy. My head feels heavy from my hair. Um, so I think I'm gonna get Mark to wash it quickly today. Um, but for now, it has to stay up. Um, but yeah, let me go and get Mark and he can show you, he can reveal to you what I look like underneath my clothes. <laughs> You can undo it yourself, can you? I can now. So this is how you undo it. It's got so many of these. And when you're putting it back on, yeah, it's supposed to be really tight, but it's a mission, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. I think this is all right. I'm sure I got how you're filming. Are you filming okay? Yeah, I think the hand there is important, even though you're not covering anything apart from more of what you can already see. Yeah, so you can't see any more than this. I haven't got a nipple or anything like that, but this... And you can still see the pen yeah, mark. The pen. the pen mark is what they did prior to my operation, but I can't... I'm not going to go scrub over no. there. No, so this is what everything kind of looks like. It doesn't look too bad, does it? It's a, it's a boob. But, um, yeah, exactly. But, but not my actual boob. Um, here, I can feel. Here, I can't feel a thing. This is numb. Completely numb. Um, and then, as you can see, this strip is what I said is going to hopefully be taken off today. Although I'm a bit nervous about it being taken off. Um, and underneath is where the scar is. So um, that's where they cut me open, I guess. Took everything out, <laughs> removed my nipple, and sewed me back together. Um, and you still got your drain sticker on. Oh yeah, so here, is, this is my drain sticker. We don't know if it was healed or not. Yeah, so they never told me whether to take this off two weeks ago. Was it two weeks? It was two weeks, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've just kept it on because obviously I don't know, I didn't really look, so I assumed it was important to keep it on. Um, but, you know, obviously, compared to a lot of people who have a single mastectomy and would just have this, I've also got exactly the same on the other side. Um, this one was actually a bit more bruised than the other one, but the bruises seem to have gone down. But they're getting yellower. Yellower. I can't really see. But to be honest, considering I had a big operation um, two weeks and five or six days ago, Bless. I'd say this isn't too bad. And um, the pain isn't too bad today, but yeah. Thought I'd just show you for those of you who are interested. And also, I've seen a lot of people in the comments on my previous video saying that they've just had exactly the same operation done. Oh, wow. So I thought I'd just show you what might be to come. Obviously, everyone's different, so never just think, this is what yours are going to look like. They'll, they'll look incredibly different, I'm sure, because we're all different people. But I just thought it might be interesting to just see how I'm getting on after a couple of weeks. And personally... At this point, I think I'm doing all right. Okay. Oh. Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. 
Right, so I'm back from the hospital. I've actually been back ages. But I thought I should probably give you an update because obviously the last time you saw me, I think you were just looking at my boobs with this with the strips on. Those strips are gone. The strips went. Um, but yeah, so the, the scars are there in all their glory and I will, I think, go and get Mark and get him to sort of semi show you what they look like because I kind of want to do that. I feel like it's important to share that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so that that was all good. Um, quite happy with that, doesn't look too bad. Can't put anything on them right away, but in a couple of weeks, I think I can put on some bio oil or something like that. If you've got any advice, sorry, I keep moving the camera around. I've got, my arms aren't very strong at the moment. So holding the camera like this is a bad idea. I should have placed it down somewhere. Um, but yeah, also one other thing, because I need to talk quickly now, because otherwise my arm's gonna fall off and you're gonna be looking down here. Um, <laughs> Uh, is that I got my test results back from the, not the scan, from the tissue. They took the tissue to the lab, um, all my breast tissue, and it came back all clear, no cancer in it. So that is just the best news in the whole entire world. So, so happy about that. Um, so yeah, don't have another appointment for a little while now. So I'm just left to my own devices to do some exercises regularly and also just to recover by myself. So that's kind of cool. I feel like the next step is here. I feel like I'm I'm getting further and further away from my surgery and more and more back to hopefully me. But yeah, it's it's definitely still a lot. Um, obviously physically getting better, but it's a lot to, to process. Um, I'm sure some of you who might have been through something similar will understand what I mean, say it's a lot to process. But I feel like I'm doing as well as I can could be doing and you can only do your best so however I'm doing is good enough I guess. I also have to show you these. I just got these in the post today. They are absolutely stunning and beautiful and I'm in love with them. Also lots of people keep asking me about this vase. I think Mark got it from Sainsbury's. I'm not quite sure. It was in, we got it in a food order in a shop so whatever supermarket we got our shop from that week he got it from there. Yeah. These came sent in the post with a little card from Celiac UK, which is like the gluten-free celiac disease charity in the UK, which I am an official ambassador for. And I'm just blown away with how beautiful they are. I've had so many flowers and it's nice to get them in stages because we didn't have enough vases, but now I've all my flowers basically have gone except these and I'm just, look at them, look at that. Oh my God, it's just, I just, I love flowers. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or something, but flowers are so nice. I can't wait for this one and this one there to come out. I'm just very happy with them. Also, I do want to show you later in this video, hopefully if I remember, I got this card through today. One of many, I think that was one of seven or eight cards I got through. Um, also, you can see my curvies there. I've been eating some curvies today. Best snack. Um, but yeah, I got some lovely cards through from my P.O. box, which is just so, so nice. So beautiful. And this card's very cute with lovely messages inside, which I won't read um, or show on camera. But yeah, I must show you all my cards. So I'll do that at some point. Not now. I'll do it later. They need to be arranged a bit better. <laughs> oh, and also when I said I need to do some exercises, they gave me this. Um, God, it's one of these things that's hard to show you. Uh, exercises after breast cancer surgery. They don't have a set one for like people who have had preventative surgery like me, like because of the BRCA gene, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. Obviously this is useful, um, really useful, but it's got some stuff that's not relevant to me. Um, I can't really find that stuff. Oh, like there's something here, like here it says about uh, lymphedema and stuff. Like obviously I haven't, fortunately, so luckily I haven't been through actual breast cancer or anything or had to have my lymph nodes removed um so I'd love to see if I can sort out maybe with a charity or something some sort of some leaflets that are specific to people who are preventative surgery um because of the BRCA gene or whatever else so yeah I'll, I'm I'm thinking out loud now <laughs> but this is like the exercise things I need to do and it shows so when you should be doing them oh a petal just fell off oh no such a nice colour um, so you've got like these and then these are more basic exercises and then the more advanced ones which I haven't done anything like this yet 
sort of raising my arms that high above my head or doing these elbow pushes but I think what I'm going to start doing is introducing this sort of stuff like creeping up the wall because I think that is probably the next step. Um, I've been doing things like this just very naturally but I should probably make sure that I do my exercises more regularly. Um, I'm so bad at doing stuff like this but um, yeah this is the stuff that I, I should be doing and it says try to do exercises three times a day um, morning, midday and evening and five times each before moving on to the next one so this is what I will be doing I, I'm gonna when I watch this back and edit it I will this will remind me to, <laughs> to make sure that I do my exercises here we are again <laughs> Becky, back. Becky stripping off yep this is uh, very unusual for this channel never thought we'd be doing this no but I think it's okay to do I keep worrying that it's like it's gonna get taken down or something for nudity. Well, I guess at this point I'm just like, fine, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that's debatable, isn't it? Okay. Look, I still kept my. Did I tell people I still kept my freckle, which we really like this freckle, don't we? Do you we? know what's really funny? She took a picture before she had an operation because they drew all over her, <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, you had four freckles. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I had lots and of them. And they are gone. <laughs> yeah, they, this is the only one remaining. So if you're not comfortable looking at scars, scabs, all that stuff, bit of, not blood, but dried blood, then probably just skip ahead or, yeah, we won't be talking about this for long. So skip ahead now and uh, I'll see, see you there. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so here we go. Um, as you can see, the, the strip has gone. And um, this here is actually a bit sticky because when they peeled it off, they said there's a lot of glue on there. So this isn't actually like the scar being that wide. It's like glue blood. It's glue blood, yeah. So they said gradually this will sort of just flake off. I'm not allowed to wash it, like soup. They said don't scrub it, but you can pat it dry with some water. Ideally not loads of soap and fragrant stuff. I don't use that sort of thing anyway. Well, I do use soap, but... Well, explains a lot. <laughs> no, but I don't use a lot of fragrant stuff because my skin's quite sensitive. But yeah, I'm, I mean, you can't see it all, but I'm quite happy with this. And I know that over time it's going to fade. Um, so... Do you want my opinion? Yeah. Like, I just thought when I saw it, because obviously you haven't seen your scars till today. Yeah. Um, like how amazing it is that your skin is absolutely perfect. Yeah. But like even like that close to the scar. Yeah. Like you've got no like kind of bits where the skin yeah. was pulled in or And you, you have or... to remember that this area of like anyone's boob, you don't usually see. Like when you're out in public and stuff, no one sees that bit. Yeah, like so, cares, really? so it doesn't really matter. It's in the centre. And like my surgeon said, she was like, well, in a few months or so, I can have nipple tattoos done and it will actually cover it all up. Just like if someone had a bad tattoo, pretend the scar is a bad oh, tattoo. That's, that's I never thought of it then like Then it's that. almost like a cover up. Oh, we, um, we haven't shown your drain bit either. Oh, I haven't even seen that. Yeah, so you can watch this back and see it. Yeah, I will. So, I don't know actually. I think, yeah, it's not that, it's that. So, it's just a very small hole. Yeah. I think the other one on the side is a bit more noticeable, I'll is show it? that. But this all like skin redness is because she had a plaster on for oh, a yeah, bike. Oh um, yeah, me and plasters don't go, do yeah, they? Yeah, for like over a week, so it's really irritated. Two her weeks? Two weeks, so it's really irritated her skin there. Yeah, sensitive so, skin me. Let's see the other side. Okay. i say this side's wow. a bit better. Like it's crazy. I think the other side's got a lot more dried blood. Sort of. Yeah, so you can't really see it, can you? No, so it looked a bit worse. Well, actually, I think they're probably about the same they yeah. were done really well um but this one is done it just doesn't have so much dried blood and it has you can't, probably can't see but around it has a lot more sort of the white like the, the, yeah, the, the like glue that is PVA glue like yeah <laughs> so effect. i mean it's all being sewn together isn't it so um yeah i'm i'm really really happy with them i feel like i shouldn't be touching them i, I mean because you keep it clean but i think it's all getting much well, it's, more it's, it's, it's been it's been like nearly three weeks now yeah um so yeah, and then obviously my drain. I you can see it clearer here. It's literally just like a little line, and that's it. And all this marking on there is from her tight bra, which she has to wear. By the way, <laughs> that's not like. Uh... Oh, and I was I was told today to wear a tighter one. Yeah. So this one is quite tight, yeah. as you've seen when I'm struggling to do it up or take it off. But they said my swelling has gone down quite a lot now. Um, and they said that it would be better if I had a tighter bra. So I'm going to. Goodness me. Uh, contact the company. I bought <laughs> can, you, can you make them tighter for me? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm wearing a medium at the moment, um, just because I didn't want to wear anything too, too tight. Um, 
and it was perfect when I was really swollen. But now I've completely unswollen. Um, it would be better if I had a small, um, but I think it will be really tight, don't you think? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll help you do it up. Maybe I'll, like, I'll get like, uh, <laughs> some like pliers or something. So yeah, those are my um, those are my scars. So, right. so that is Rebecca. Like but, you can see, like the other side of the scar. Like yeah, I don't know why, but it feels better to cover half of it, even though it's yeah. Well, I don't I don't know what's appropriate and what's not, but I feel like how I'm holding this, especially because I don't have nipples anymore. Does it matter? Um, yeah, more of my boobs are covered than you see on videos sometimes on YouTube anyway, so I think this should be okay, hopefully. Um, but you can see... Like, I, think it's, I think it's really important. You look normal. Yeah, I think it's really important <laughs> to just show this, to show that, you know, if you are someone who's watching this or has watched my previous videos and is maybe going through this or knows someone, like maybe you're the partner of someone going through this or something, that you can see how it hopefully... Well, I, I think hopefully, because I'm really happy with it, how it will look. Yeah, um, after just three weeks. This, yeah, this That's is crazy. This is it'll be three weeks tomorrow, um, and you can see also that I'm pretty mobile now. I'm pretty. I mean, I look an absolute mess, but with my hair. Oh, we'll wash your hair tomorrow. We'll wash my hair tomorrow, please. <laughs> I need. I still need I'm help like, washing my hair. I'm like the hairdresser. <laughs> but and I cut and also I'm as you might have seen in previous videos during lockdown. I still actually cut Mark's hair. Um, but at the moment, he would not want to be on camera because he has got very long hair. Because I haven't been able to cut it and he won't let me for a while because I can't lift my arms so much. But, yeah, the, this is me. And I'm really happy with it. And I'm sure you'll see more along my little um, bracker journey of other bits and bobs. And I'm definitely, definitely thinking about having nipple tattoos in the future. But I think you really have to wait for a while to let the settle down um, yeah. and also for the scars you couldn't have someone tattooing over what they're like at the moment with the scars but yeah there's no hurry is there there's, anyway, there's no is hurry there? at all i'm not in a rush for anything i just want things to be done as well you as possible you think about it it's like oh i must get these done so that i can see them and, yeah. mark, and mark can see them <laughs> yes. and, and no one else yeah, will exactly. ever see them so it's like well does but, that um, matter? yeah i'm I'm really, really happy. I just really would like my pen to be taken off now. I think it's yeah, I might give you a little bit of a gentle scrub and see. You know, <laughs> but it's quite hard to get that off. But yeah, if anyone's got any questions or anything else, then please do let me know because I just, I just really hoping this is useful and helpful and whatever. Um, so yeah, put some clothes on. All right, I think I will now. <laughs> Bye. So all the videos recently have been a lot more, I guess, medical. Um, and that's just because How dare you? that's just because of what has been going on in my life. Um, it's been a massive, humongous, biggest thing that's ever happened in my life. But today um, we are actually in the car, but we're not going to the hospital. Hooray! Oh my god, somewhere else. <laughs> we're going somewhere else. We're going to the garden centre. We're going to a local garden centre to us um, because the weather over the next week or so is supposed to be relatively nice sorry it's a bit bumpy on this road very bumpy yeah, are you finding that okay um it's a bit of a bit of a wibbly wobbly i could see the camera going everywhere but yeah the weather's supposed to be quite nice so we need to sort out our veggie patch oh, it sounds like we've got some really nice vegetable patch but we've just got this bit of soil in the garden that we usually put a handful of plants in like courgettes tomatoes stuff like that um and we don't actually have any plants or I think we do have some, but they're so piddly and tiny and haven't really I've neglected them. Really. Yeah, but it's I like think repotted them. Mark's been looking after me so much he forgot about his baby courgettes on the windowsill. So we need to go and get some slightly larger, more established plants, still quite small, um, so we can plant them because with the weather going to be nice soon, that didn't even make sense. With the <laughs> the weather's going to be nice. Understood fully. Okay, so the weather's going to be nice soon. Oh god, there's a massive tractor. Um, but yeah, so the weather's going to be nice soon and we want to plant them out so that we can start uh, reaping the benefits. Reaping the courgettes. Reaping the courgettes um, and eating them or making chocolate courgette cake and stuff. So that is what we're going to go and do right now. And I thought, why not take you with us to the garden centre, which is a bit of a mission getting here today. It was only a few minutes from our house, but there's just cars everywhere because it's a Saturday. Um, but yeah, we're here now, so I'll see you when we're inside. You won't be able to get up now. Oh, well done, very well done. Our companion seat. I like this, it's for like people who want to sit together but not next to each other. Yeah, we need to have a little bit of a gap 
also, also, we can have this for Love Island. Love Island vibes. A fire pit. <laughs> Love Island vibes. <laughs> Rebecca, gather around the fire pit. No, thank you. I wonder if this opens up. It oh. does, it does. I just thought, does it open as a seat? Like, does it have, like... You've watched too much Shopping <laughs> Channel. Too much QVC. Well, this is a bit of a funny one. You have a plant either side of you. And then birds sit on those plants and then they poo on the seat. Wow. <laughs> You're not selling it to me. Okay, so Peg has got... Peg's got this one. But where is that? Rebecca um, put one of Peg's toys in a dishwasher and it came out all deformed. A milk bottle. And what are these called? A shrimp. Shrimpy the sweet, <laughs> it is specifically called. Well, she doesn't actually have a lot of these, I must admit. They don't have the ball that went deformed in the dishwasher. She has this one. She's had this a long time. That was one of her first ones, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that one. Do you know she doesn't like playing with this that much? Why? Because she shakes it around and, it and this her. hit her in the face <laughs> and she doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> she oh, won't she touch it. She has that that one. is still one of the coolest ones. She has Sunny. Oh, she's got so many. But she doesn't, no, she, there's a lot here she doesn't have. I quite like, is this an ant? I quite, me of a uh, bug's life. I quite like, what's the ant called? Flick. I saw that when I was about 12, I can't remember. <laughs> Good look, Pippa. I like Pippa the puffer fish. Pippa the puffer fish. I can imagine booting that across the room <laughs> for her. Do you think this acorn has a smiley face on the other side? I think it's got a face like... Oh. Yeah, I want to try something. I couldn't see anything with that face. A bug bat. It's, it's got electrics in it, but it's not a toy. It certainly looks like a toy. What does it do? Handy push button into... Oh, I don't it, want to... It, you hit a bug with it and it zaps it. Oh, that's cruel. Hmm, can you smell that? I think it's a cafe. It smells like bacon. <laughs> it's not no smell of plants. It smells like bacon. It's the uh, bacon plant. I, I actually really quite like this. Um, it's a rosemary bush. Yeah, but it looks nice. On a tree, a rosemary tree. Because um, we need some for cooking sometimes. Not this, it's apple mint. Wow, that's the best apple mint I've ever seen. It doesn't smell very apple minty. Maybe it's not. Oh, it does. You lost your sense of smell, are you okay? <laughs> Should I be testing you? I'm fine. This is cool, look at this big tree. Yeah, that's really nice. I like it's quite tall and thin. I want you to make me some fig rolls. Yeah, there's there's a few people in the Facebook group who keep wanting me to make fig rolls, and I keep I promise I'll make them. But she's <laughs> at the garden centre right now. <laughs> when, when's the last time you went out somewhere that wasn't the hospital? We went to the supermarket. Been to the supermarket once in three weeks, and then just here. That's it. I think. In three weeks. Yeah. That means I also. Oh, I had my hair cut. Not my hair cut, I have my hair washed. Hair washed, washed yeah. Oh, my hair. So this is a real treat for you, isn't it's it? It's a treat. Oh, they do bonsai here now. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at this one. That's not a bonsai. That's just something in a bonsai pot, right? Yeah, but anything that can be pruned like that is allowed oh, to be here. Oh, here it is. It's this one. <laughs> that's really cool, isn't it? Oh, I love that they have stuff like this and it's like so, like super local. Oh my God, look, they've got like an, a mini Acer. Yeah, the, these are my favourite ones. You can get some that where the leaves are even smaller than this. These are quite big, really. Yeah, this is what you come for. Oh, yes. Oh, these are marrows. Marrow, we don't marrow butter squash. I've got some called summer squash courgette. Oh, like the brown type. Mm. I wouldn't mind that. So I'm a bit sad. Um, we've come to the garden centre for the veggies and there's no courgettes. <laughs> and that's the veggie that, as you probably know, I eat the most of. Well, they do have the... I the squash version. Yeah, but only like three plants and they don't look as healthy as they should. Yeah, they're not um, very big. No, and they have like things that I wouldn't grow. Like we don't really have the space to grow like carrots and parsnips or sprouts or... I, don't, I, I just wanted some courgette. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to go to another garden centre. Probably not right now, um, but maybe later or tomorrow or sometime soon. Because we need to get them in. So are we, what are we gonna get? Are we gonna get anything? Um, we could get some flowers, maybe, but otherwise I think we should probably just cut our losses and maybe not spend too long here so that we have potential time to go elsewhere later. Yeah. Because I, I came in and I wasn't... Oh, the, the herbs are good, but herbs are good everywhere. Like, you, you can always get herbs, but there's not that much veg, so I think... And they don't look that healthy, so I think we should 
probably head back and maybe we could ask my mum where the closest other garden centre is that she can yeah. send as well. I just I just wanted to do go somewhere quite close today. Yeah, well you can't go too far, can you? No. I bet you're well looking forward to that first Periwood trip. I am. I'm gonna take you to the cafe. Ooh. Get a gluten free something. Oh wow. Oh, lovely robin there. God, it's huge, isn't it? They're making it really big. This is like my colour. And you can see that I'm not someone who can carry things, but it's really light. <laughs> You'd imagine this to be really heavy, but it's so light. I can hold it with one hand. <laughs> so no courgettes, but nice pops. Yeah, I'm quite tempted to know. I'm really tempted. Well, I think it's a good idea. I was thinking about getting one of those, what they call any time, only pans. But do they look that nice? Yeah. Ooh. How do they compare in price? More expensive. Well, there's your answer then. Always pan, that's it. But I like either that one, but I really like this colour, which is this colour. Yeah, but you know that's quite different. Like, you wouldn't put that in the oven, but you can put that in the oven. You can put this in the oven. With the handle The handle wrong, comes up. Oh, wow. As a steamer. And, or you can, um, or you can take it in a bag with you. Maybe you should work for QVC because you are but selling this You get this that as well. Okay, I think we've uh, established you're not buying this today because you haven't decided. <laughs> no, it's too much money. And also there's the home cook duo and you get both. You get Selena <laughs> Gomez. Oh, I think they're different colours. Bit random. You can get the duo, which is the pot and the always pan. So the pot... You told me there was only one pan. No, there's these two. So you can get a big one that's more like this. And then this is more like your lower down sort of pan. Look, it's reduced. 220 for both. Pound. So you could get it in dusty, dusky, dusky pink. There you go. That's nice. Oh, win, win a free one. <laughs> so a few hours have passed and obviously the last garden centre trip wasn't super successful, but what we did is we searched online and found a, well, Mark found a garden centre that was really close by that we've never even heard of before, I've never even seen it. So we went there and we actually got what we wanted and more. So I thought I'd show you everything that we got um, and definitely the more because the more bit is what's on my feet. So, well, we didn't get this, this little one. But she is resting in she's her bed. She's just eating some bird poo. Yeah, she just ate some bird poo, so I don't know why I'm looking at her like she's cute. Um, so these white shoes are not the shoes that Mark got, but he got these lovely, lovely green ones. Look at these! Mine are, they're slightly big for me, but they're a size 8 and I'm a size 8 usually, but whatever. But the best thing about them, they've got lemons on. Look at them! I'm very happy with these. They just look really cool, don't they? Only for the garden, so it doesn't really matter. But I like them. Um, and then, what else did we get? Okay, first thing we got, well, first next thing we got, look at this little chap. I don't know what what you call him, but <laughs> we got these little things. We got a small one here, a little face on, and a bigger one here. And they're, I think they're for kids to identify what the plant is that you're growing. And clearly, these are tomatoes, so we got those and I think they're very cute. So the main reason that we went to the garden centre, obviously, as I said earlier, was to get some courgette plants and they didn't have any, but they did, they had a few at this other garden centre. So we got a green courgette plant, we got a yellow courgette plant, we got a cucumber plant, this is mini cucumbers, and I'll show you in a second. We also got another cucumber plant. Um, this one said outdoor cucumber, so I assumed that was a good one keeping outside. I mean they're all going outside but this one might be a bit more sturdy and might not die so easily. So got that and then we also got a strawberry plant which is very nice with this nice pink flower. I wish they had them all the time but what's it? A summer breeze cherry, summer breeze cherry strawberry. Hope they're tasty. And then whilst we were there also we saw some nice flowers. We like these. I don't know what they are but they're beautiful. Um, and then we saw this one, which has a few bent bits to it, which I guess isn't ideal, like these bits, but the flowers 
I think these will go really nicely together. So we're going to plant them into the garden. And then as it was like three for 12 pounds on those flowers, we also got this one, which I thought was really nice and just felt super summery. So that's that. Oh, and then this is the outdoor, um, not cause yet, cucumber plant that I've just put in here. I actually did this myself, which is quite a big deal for me because obviously I haven't been doing anything, but the soil was really soft. I used this little trowel kneeled down on here and I got it in. So um, yeah, that's everything we got, I think at the garden centre and this guy is just so cute. So I nearly forgot to show you this, all of the cards that I've got. I honestly have never had this many cards in my whole entire life for any occasion whatsoever um, and these were all sent by lots of you guys and they're all beautiful. I mean there's some nice sort of homemade ones, there's the nicest little notes in them. There's actually lots of homemade ones. I've never, I don't think I've ever homemade a card, but I kind of want to now. I never could do them as well as these, but there's literally absolutely tons with loads of writing in them. And um, it's definitely something that's made me feel, I, I can't really describe it, but very emotional and stuff with, you know, it's just so lovely to have these. And this is very true for, everyone not not just directed at me you guys make the world a brighter place and you guys are powerful and strong and you're magical like it's just so so kind so i can't thank you enough and i also can't thank you enough for all the gifts i won't show all of those as well but i've had a lot of absolutely beautiful and amazing gifts which i never asked for or expected or anything but uh you know for you to do that for me is just the kindest most loveliest thing so i mean all i'm gonna keep saying is thank you but i just thought i'd show some of them so you might spot your card here i've got some elsewhere as well actually um but yeah these are some of them the only problem if you see your card here what you are doing is making it very difficult when we watch the telly um, for me to change the volume because I think the sensor thing is somewhere there so I am struggling to change the volume on the telly and change the channel but I don't care because these cards are beautiful and I don't really know what to do with them I feel like I want to stick them on the wall or put them in a scrapbook or whatever I do I'm going to keep them forever um, because they're amazing so yeah just thank you from the bottom of my heart to the top of my heart. These are awesome. You're awesome. Here she is, relaxing and chilling out. How are you? I was gonna say that, well, I am. In the next video, I think what I'll do is I'll show you some of my exercises that I have to do regularly now just to help my recovery, I guess. Um, this one will not be doing the exercise with me. She'll be sleeping, <laughs> as always, snoozing away. Um, but yeah, I'll show them in the next video. Hopefully that will be helpful because I think, you know, as part of the journey, that's quite an important part. So look forward to that, I guess, if you want. Um, and also, if you're someone who's from my um, Facebook group, then please let me know somehow, either below in the comments or just shout in the group or something that you watch these videos because you guys are awesome. And also I'll link below the Facebook group so that you can join if you'd like to. Anyway, have a good week and see you soon, bye.